Yeah, we've got a busy show, so let's rip into it. Uh, we're heading back to Canberra tonight with this developing story around Raider star Josh Hodgson. It's been confirmed now that Hodgson stood down as team co-captain, but he said in a club statement today, I can assure everyone I remain fully committed to the club and I'm looking forward to getting myself back to 100% fitness and helping the team get their season back on track. Look, Hodgson said all the right things today, but help me understand, what, what, what is the backstory here? There's clearly some fractures in the dressing room at the Raiders. And the backstory is, this is how it starts, Ben. The manipulation, the agitation, the mayhem. We saw it with John Bateman a couple of, only last year, where stories begin to appear and the narrative begins to build and things get denied and ultimately he ended up leaving. He's been linked to other clubs already, Josh Hodgson. He's been linked to the Broncos and he's been linked to the Bulldogs. And I think, Kenty, you've probably got some details. He obviously went in and spoke to Ricky a couple of weeks ago. Well, look, my understanding, look, obviously I, I'm pretty close friends with Rick, and I spoke to him about it. Now, well, I asked him why he stood down as captain, and he said to me, he said, look, he said, it's not that big a reason. He said, but I'm not going to break Josh's confidence and tell you. And so he said, but eventually he said it'll come out. And he said, and you'll see, it look, it's pretty ridiculous, the whole thing, this whole hullabaloo after it. He said, but he spoke to Josh about it. Uh, there was reports today, obviously, that there was a heated argument between them. Uh, he's categorically denied that. The Raiders have rang the, uh, the journalists involved uh, who conceded he shouldn't have used the words uh, heated argument in the story. Uh, Ricky's version is that the... It was quite amicable and they actually got up and had a hug at the end of it uh, once they sat down and discussed it all. So from that point of view it's very difficult. Now I've also asked him about whether there's rumours going around that he might have signed with the Broncos. Now it's actually, um, it, it's actually he's not allowed on the NRL rules to talk to any club at the moment because he's still contracted to, to next year. Uh, but generally the way this sort of starts is little things like this, little whispers here and there. That you are going can talk, around. you just can't yeah. sign. Yes, well, yes so yeah. you can talk whenever you want. Yes, yes. so, well, well that's what I meant, sorry. But so he hasn't signed with the Broncos. I understand that the Bulldogs have spoken to Josh Hodgson uh, and, and as much as about as coming as, as early as next season when he's still contracted to the Raiders. The Raiders have had no approaches from the Bulldogs or Hodgson's management about either the Bulldogs or Brisbane. So it's all up in the air, and there is a little bit of a feeling at the Raiders that where's all this coming from? Hodgson and Ricky spoke this morning, at which point Hodgson said, mate, I don't know where this is all coming from. We've all got our suspicions where it's coming from. But essentially there's a little bit of confusion there in this instance about everything, which given the fact that there's the stuff about Tarp and his, and his uh, wife's Wife, Instagram, Williams the Williams homesickness, the fact that they've four losses in the past four games, it just starts to pile on, and this is one of those situations, as Hoops just alluded to, where they need to get hold of it pretty quickly because even though there might be nothing in it now, if you don't start dealing with some th things, it, it can become real. They need a win, Lara. Yeah. How, they need a how win is it Wagga. salvageable either way, though, when, some, when your co-captain steps down and now all of this comes out? How is the relationship salvable, salvageable? It sounds like he wants out. But there's, there's, not a, there's not a problem. That's the point. That's what they're, but they're both trying to impress upon people, there's not an actual issue between well, can we them. Just go, hang on, can we just go to this meeting, okay? So well, the issue it's was reported, about form. Yeah, but it's reported today that in the meeting, it was actually an episode of NRL 360 that Josh Hodgson has taken umbrage at and said, accused Ricky that he's leaked information to us. And yeah, also that the meeting was about him being dropped. So yeah. that was part of the, what was reported. Well, the what? No. Again, okay, the way it's been portrayed to me, Josh Hodgson doesn't watch 360, so he didn't know what we said. <laughs> Don't blame him. So, 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 so that, okay, straight away we know he's smarter than the average bear, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, so, but he, that, he, said today, he said he doesn't watch 360. He, he was oblivious to the story that appeared today. So what about his form and the position in the team? There was, was that discussed? That was, that's certainly an issue, yes. Hodgson was dropped. He was put back to the bench. And then he injured himself and didn't play. And we, we did allude to that. I question whether there was a real injury there, obviously. Yes. But there was a real injury, apparently, which is why he was down there for two weeks. He was going to the bench. At that point, my understanding, this is not from Ricky, this is from everything else that's now been said around this, from other people and other sources. Uh, other journalists have been writing this, is that Hodgson said, well, if, if you don't want me to lead the team, 
in the bad times, I'm not going to hang around and lead them in the good times. But the way it's betrayed to me was that Hodgson was the one that said to Ricky, I'm stepping down. And Ricky said to me, he said, I won't tell you why. So I don't, it's, it's very confusing. It's, it's, how, how, do you, how do you step down as co-captain just for being dropped? I just I, well, find that to be... No, no, we're saying there's, there's, there's another reason. Yeah, but there's I'm saying there's another reason. Yeah. Sometimes, Lara, and we, we've seen it in cricket in all matters of sport, where a, a captain will step down because he doesn't believe it's... Yeah, Wade Graham, I think, has done it, hasn't he? Didn't no, he? no, 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 You've got Josh Hodgson relinquishing the captaincy. Next week's a big week. Like We'll see what happens in Wagga against the Knights on Saturday. They desperately need a win after four straight losses. But next week, when Josh Hodgson is available for selection and Jared Croker is also available for selection, they're both the leaders of the club, it's a, it's a big call whether yeah. they make the 17 or not. Well, only and one of them is now. You, take away the cap- you, you stand out from the captaincy and all of a sudden there isn't the obligation from the coach to pick you in the side. It sort of makes it easier for Ricky to play Josh Hodgson in reserve grade. You've got a young number nine playing as well as Tom Starling. Flying. Yeah, you've got a strong bench that often includes Sevilla, uh, Saliva Havili, uh, who also can play nine. I think they've got a good young player coming through the system out of Queensland. And if I'm Josh Hodgson, if I'm feeling that, then I'm starting to look sideways. Now, there is history here at the Raiders. You spoke about it with John Bateman. This happened two years ago in the lead-up to a grand final where he started speaking about potentially shifting himself to another club. That was something that was manufactured by his agent, which we know Ricky has spoken to in the form of a comment publicly made that he would never let his club be dictated to by an agent like the Brisbane Broncos and the New Zealand Warriors. I think the agent in question now has been suspended by the NRL. His name is Isaac Moses, who also manages Josh Hodgson. And John Bateman. And John Bateman. got John Bateman out of his contract at Canberra. Mm. 